welcome to my channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. My name is Misha and I upload videos on Sundays around luxury, lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. So if you're here for that, let's go. All right, guys, so today is, wait, I have more than 500 subscribers. Ah, thank you, guys. I think we're sitting at low, like 506 or 507 right now. Oh, Guys, thank you, thank you so much for those of you who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please pause this video, hit that subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. But today's video is going to be about um, purging out my coat closet, which is busting at the seams or bursting at the seams, whichever way you say it. Um, I ordered two new coats. <laughs> and because of that, I need to get rid of some coats. Now, um, we'll be going through all my coats today and I have quite a few so get comfortable get a cup of coffee or glass of wine whatever you get on a Sunday afternoon and uh, we're gonna go through the coat one by one and we're gonna talk about the ones I'm gonna keep and ones I'm gonna give away now I have family and friends visiting for Christmas and so I have no doubt that I'll be able to hand these coats off to people who want them and if not I'll either sell them on my Poshmark or donate them to Goodwill so here goes all right, outfit of the day. So I'm wearing this Skims dress that I'll pop up a video, but it's a long kind of bodycon dress. And over top, I have this almost like, um, almost like bathrobe type deal. That's something that I got from Zara. That had this like beading right here that I love. Um, and the dress is long sleeve, and I just thought this was super cute. Now this dress is very, very body conscious, and so. Um, if you have a little self-consciousness about your body, something like this over top um, makes you very comfortable. You can eat what you want. Um, you can relax. You don't have to suck in your gut the whole day. All right, let's get started. All right, so this coat is number one. It is a nice mohair coat that I got from Cost in the Black Friday sale. Um, I don't know how to get this camera further out, but it is um, past my knees. Um, kind of oversized fit and I just love the color of it this is a keeper because I just bought it um, although if you guys are in the comment like no that looks terrible on you I, I still have time to return it so go ahead and leave a comment below and the tags are still on it so let me know what you think of this coat what I love most is that it has a matching skirt so I can't wear can't wait to wear this with like leggings maybe boots or flats or loafers and this beautiful coat I I think I'm keeping this, but go ahead and tell me your comments anyway. All right, this is coat number two. Um, it's a faux fur coat that I got, um, I think from either Marshall or TJ, My, TJ Maxx. The sleeves have always been a little short. Um, I really don't wear this. This is going in the away pile. All right, this is coat number three, and I really can't get this. <laughs> To pan out anymore, this is from Zara. Um, it is a wool coat past the knee length, and I just think it's in a beautiful camel color. And I just think there'll always be room in my wardrobe for a coat like this. So this is going in the keep pile. Yeah, it's really tailored. I like the shoulders. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. Ooh. All right, this is a navy blue kind of wool coat, not kind of, it's a wool coat from Mackage, um, mid shin length. So you'll see in a lot of my coats, the sleeves are short, I'm 5'9", I'm um, and so my arms are kind of long, and that's just what I have to deal with in my life. I'm not sure why this is not laying down properly, but I think I will always need a navy blue wool coat. I think this coat's absolutely gorgeous. I love the collar on it. A little, little tab in the back here and so this this is a keeper all right this is a cape from Zara in black oh. um, has like little slits for the arm here um I haven't worn this but I feel like I feel like this is something that should be kept <laughs> um, because I feel like I can always find somewhere to wear this, either casually or dressy. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. Can you guys tell that I'm a hoarder? All right. 
<laughs> so far, I'm not one. Okay, we, we gotta we gotta be a little bit more brutal, but not yet. I love this coat. I bought it last year. It's a totem coat with an attached scarf that's, that looks like this. And I just think this coat is so cute. Right now, the black is very much in, um, in style, I guess, or very popular, as is the brown. But I got the gray last year, and I just think it's super cute. And I can't get rid of it. I, not yet. Also, it's super lightweight. It's a wool. It's super lightweight wool, which is great because I live in the south and it really doesn't get that cold down here, which is another reason I don't need as many coats as I have. So we have to be a little bit more brutal, guys. <laughs> we have to start getting rid of some coats, but not this one. I'm keeping this one. All right, this is a... a Lafayette 148 coat that I got in Nordstrom Rack a few years ago when I was on a trip with two of my besties in North Carolina, I think. Um, this is just right past the knee. It's almost like a swing style coat with um, these buttons that kind of clip them together. I just kind of love this coat. I love the way it looks on me. I have a houndstooth Lady Dior bag, so <laughs> we're keeping this one too. We're going to get rid of some coats, but <laughs> we're keeping this one. So I went to New York a few years ago and I went down to the vessel and in the mall attached to that to in the mall down by the vessel, they have a coach store and the coach store was having a huge sale. Oh, OK, it was having a huge sale and I ended up buying three coats and this is one of them. Now, if I keep this one, which I'm leaning towards keeping it, I think I will get rid of that um, cape from Zara. I'm trying to see myself in the mirror, but I don't really have a mirror in this room that, that works very well. It comes with this like faux fur. I think it's faux fur. It looks very much like faux fur. Attachment for the collar that you could wear actually that's kind of pretty um i've actually never worn this out of the home so I'm, I'm keeping this or the zara one tell me below which one i should keep i don't have to wear the full fur collar i think this is a little bit more elevated it feels much nicer on the body so the zara cape or this i think i'm leaning towards this but one of them one of them is going all right, so I bought this coat, <laughs> so pretty, from, I'm sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder because I don't really have a mirror in this room. I bought this coat um, from, ooh, from Kate Spade last year. It's right above the knees, and I bought the matching shoes. So I just think it's super cute, and because I have the matching shoes, I'm going to keep it. Last year I wore it with a red dress from Zara for Christmas and it was beautiful. I haven't worn it since, but I just think it's a beautiful kind of like jacquard fabric with beautiful pinks and greens and reds and it has a, it's like a dark floral and it's very lightweight. So this is being kept. We're keeping this one. All right. Um, I think this one is going to go because it's just a little snug for me. Um, this is a J. Crew coat that I bought maybe two, three years ago. Um, oh, I have gloves in the pocket. Um, so these are, I guess, cashmere gloves. I don't know where I got these from, but it's like a very casual coat um, with a fur lined hoodie. Oh, that's so cute. Um, but I think it's a little too small for me. So, This, this is on the to-go pile, but I'm keeping the gloves. Remember when I said it didn't get cold where I live? It really doesn't get that cold. Maybe five to six days out of the winter. But this J. Crew coat was on sale last year, and I just thought it would be great for those mornings where I'm walking the pooch, um, and I don't have much else underneath, maybe, some workout clothes or pajamas. 
Um, it's passed by me, kind of, kind of super long, and it just kind of looks like a cloud. I think I'm going to keep this because I use it to walk my dog. <laughs> so this was another purchase um, from that coach shopping sale event. And it's a shearling coat that I've had for several years and I've only used once. It's leather trimmed. Um, got this beautiful, almost like cognac leather in there. Um, it's a little past um, mid thigh, like right above the knee. And as you can imagine, I didn't have much chance to wear this, but I did wear it last year when it dropped to zero for one day. Um, but I think it's so warm and cozy, I have to keep this. So I'm, I'm definitely keeping this. Oh, I love this coat. All right, so this is a Celine leather down coat. I don't, I, I don't actually know if it has actual down in it, but it just kind of looks like a down coat and looks like what we call a bubble coat. In New York, so it reminds me of being very New York, very urban, very with it. Um, I got it on sale last year in Saks, so this is not going anywhere, guys. It's beautifully made. It was a major sale. Um, it comes right above the bum and the hips. The sleeves are decent length, um, has pockets, and has like this huge leather hoodie. I love it. I think it's super cool and super chic. Keeping this. All right, so I wanted this coat for such a long time. It's a J. Crew coat, and actually I got it from the J. Crew factory store. Make sure my hair is looking fine. It's fur line collar or faux fur. The sleeves are also bracelet length sleeves with also that fur cuff. It has these has these beautiful jeweled buttons, and I just think it's so pretty. And I already got rid of that light gray coat. So I think, I think I'm going to keep this one. I think I'm going to keep this one. For like a special event, I, th I thought I'll be getting rid of more. I think I'm going to keep this one though. A pink coat from Zara. That's actually quite beautiful. It's wool. It's a little past the knee. Um, has pockets in the front. No distinguishing features in the back. This would be the brightest coat in my wardrobe. I don't have really anything else with color. But I think I may need to get rid of this one. It's so pretty on the other right? I don't have another pink coat. And I do have a pink bag. Oh. So this is the maybe pile. This is the maybe. All right. Not technically a coat, but this I got from Tory Burch. It has these like tabs right here. It's a long kind of vest, or what do you call it? Um, yeah, a long vest, I think, you know, sleeveless or sleeveless coat. Um, so it's actually quite good for this type of weather down here where you can be, um, you don't need, really need heavy coats, but I haven't worn it. And I haven't gotten rid of a lot. So this I think I'm going to get rid of. It's going to go in the maybe pile. All right, maybe. <laughs> maybe. So this is from Zara. And I think that it's beautiful. It's a beautiful print. Very lightweight. Has pockets that I haven't forced open yet. So... I don't even know if they're real pockets. Probably not. No, it's like faux pockets. That's crazy. The back is kind of just like oversized. I just thought it'd be a cute overcoat to like jazz up an outfit. But oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> this video, I'm so sorry guys. I just want to keep everything. Um, it's a little bit past the knee. Um, do I have anything?
anything else like this. I like the colors. I think I'm going to keep it. All right, here's another cape. This one actually is a little different because it has a toggle closure, but same arm slits, same right above the knee. Have a look. I think I'm gonna get this one away. I'm gonna get this one away because we 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 have to purge. So this is gonna go. This one is more nostalgic than anything else. I've had this since I was in my early 20s. Are you serious? I've had this, I think since I was in my early 20s, which if you're doing the math was probably five years, <laughs> which is a long time ago. Um, the sleeve lining is actually really bad. Um, I have to like, sometimes I slip my arm into the lining instead of the actual sleeve. So I don't think it's worth it to get repaired. This one I got from Ann Taylor Loft, guys. It had the matching skirt but that has since moved on. Is it time for this to move on? It's still. I just noticed that this has a stain right over the right chest. Um, yeah, I'm still keeping it. <laughs> this is a Kate Spade coat. I call it my camel coat for obvious reasons. It has little tassels on the sleeves. Um, this just makes me feel <laughs> very good. I don't know if I need it anymore though. I mean, it's just such a pretty coat, eye-catching. I think I'm keeping this, yes. When I bought it, it was so expensive for me at the time. Um, and I couldn't believe I was buying it. It was on sale but still quite pricey. And I just, I just like, it's just so cool. This is a camel coat. Last, but certainly not least, is this J. Crew coat that when I bought it was too small for me and it remains too small, but it has a matching skirt. And so I wear it with the matching skirt open. Hence, I will be keeping this one as well. All right, guys. This was a brutal video. Thank you for sticking. If you're still here, you are a real one. Thank you so much for sticking through it. Um, I really didn't get rid of much, but I have five, one, two, three, four, and it may be that I'm gonna say goodbye to. And if you guys put you know, one in the comments and a bunch of you guys put it, I may get rid of that one too. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and follow me over on Instagram, the style, the underscore style MD, um, for outfit of the day and exercise things. And I'll see you next week. Bye.